So I conceived of I Select the day that Congress passed the Jobs Act. I don't know if you're familiar with the Jobs Act, but what it said is that in the past when people were raising money for private deals for new startup companies, they couldn't advertise or solicit to broad audiences. You had to have a relationship with the person that you were raising the money from, which imposed a certain, certain level of honesty and forthrightness because you were dealing with people that you had existing relationships with your peers. The Jobs Act said you can sell to a broad audience of people and you can advertise to, it to them. And I became concerned that everything that we had been doing in the St. Louis area and a lot of the other towns like St. Louis across America where we'd been investing for years and years to build the infrastructure to have a real venture capital community and to see real results. And if you look around St. Louis, you can see the results. We have billions of dollars of development happening in our city because of earlier investments in venture capital. But I came concerned that that, that was all gonna go away if you had the ability to go raise money from people with just a slick advertising campaign and there wasn't real diligence and real a real work put into making sure the companies that came into the platform that, that were being invested in were solid good companies and that the management teams were, 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 were competent and and like not fraudulent and that, 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 that they had the capability to actually execute their business plans and so we set about at iSelect to build a, a platform that really provides that level of diligence that really looks into the companies rather than just advertising and marketing and trying to raise as much capital through slick advertising campaigns.